go ahead very good evening to everyone i extend a warm welcome to all distinguished teacher hr leaders corporate trainers coaches and learners thank you for joining us today i am malika from the corporate relations and placement team at protouch professional training where we empower working professionals to upskill fast forward their careers our professional certificates accredited by top bodies like shrm hrci cpd and ibec include programs such as hr generalist hr analytics posh train the trainer business analytics for managers corporate trainers and coach certification and more additionally we offer customized corporate training programs in area like leadership sales diversity and inclusion and various soft skill training programs you can cooperate with us on three levels to get professional certification on personal growth to conduct corporate training programs in your organization and to hire talent from protouch we we provide career assistance to our certified hr professionals we can help we have helped more than 200 companies to get hr talent at no cost across pan india level it is my honor to introduce today's distinguished guest speaker Dr. Arti Chitkaria Chopra. Welcome, ma'am. Dr. Arti is a passionate academician, energetic corporate trainer, and blossoming author. Dr. Arti worked with renowned educational institutes like Maharishi Dayanand College, Bharti Vidya Bhavan, Saint Xavier's College, Jaipur, and she is founder of. Artikar Training Services. Today, she will be sharing with us her transition journey from a teacher to a corporate trainer. Thank you, madam, for taking out time for us today. We also have yeah. our, we also have uh, today's moderator, Dr. Aparna Sethi, founder Protouch. who comes with 20 years of experience in hr she has worked with various industries like manufacturing service and in academics she worked with renowned educational institute like Al alliance university price university ansal university she could manage her career transition from corporate to academics and from academics to corporate trainer Dr. Aparna started Protouch Professional Training 5.5 years back with the clear objective of impacting and uplifting lives by imparting professional training. Welcome, ma'am. We also have Mr. Rahul Sethi, Director of Protouch, with us too. Welcome, sir. Thank you all. for patient patiently listening so now over to you dr aparna okay thank you so much malika for that very warm welcome i i really like the kind of you know warmth which is there in your uh, voice and uh, thank you everyone thank for you, joining ma. us on thursday evening weather is wonderful outside in De delhi ncr and still you have chosen to come and attend this session that talks a lot about your uh, you know commitment towards your career isn't it so thank you so much i can see some videos are also on some smiles i i'm sure those videos smile thumbs up will certainly help us to keep ourselves motivated very important everyone that we are going to have a q and a session at the end but if i find any interesting such question in between i will certainly take that and that will make my job also easy right so before we move ahead dr arti and i both of us are interested in knowing 
How many of you are teachers? If you are teachers, please put T in the chat box so that we will get to know because today we are having very focused discussion for teachers. And I can see Jyoti, Dr. Monica. Yes, I can see one Pramila. I think that is the name which I missed. Wonderful, right? Uh, Arti Patit is also here. Shubha is also here. Wonderful. Thank you so much, all the teachers. And you know, very important. Thank you so much for choosing teaching as your career because a nation will be incomplete without education. And you uh, have dedicated your life for teaching. Can we give them a big round of applause, everyone? Right? And I'm sure it is going to be one of the toughest session today because teachers को टीच करना बहुत मुश्किल होगा लेकिन आज हम लोग थोड़ा सा डायलॉग करने की कोशिश करते हैं ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर आरती एंड यू नो वन थिंग मलिका हैज गिवन यू वेरी प्रोफेशनल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हर बट देयर आर सम पार्ट्स आर हिडन डॉक्टर आरती इज आल्सो मॉडल शी डज मॉडलिंग फॉर हैंडलूम वंडरफुल गिव पुट योर हैंड्स टुगेदर लिविंग लाइफ फुल्ली यू वोंट बिलीव she also participated in the competition of barbie where she wore a beautiful pink sari and she was carrying so well uh, and following theme of barbie wow thank you so much uh, dr arti i mean that is what you know living life fully isn't it yes so look forward to have a very candid discussion with you you know uh your journey somewhere it is also similar to my journey and we both will share our experiences with our audience today right so very important thing dr arti got a doctorate degree had a wonderful life right of a professor getting good tenure based promotions why corporate training what motivated you to come to corporate training So, um, a very good evening, Dr. Aparna, and everyone present here on this platform. First of all, I would like to really say thanks, show my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Aparna and the whole team of ProTouch for having me here and giving me such a warm welcome. I am so touched, and you know something coming from a person whom you really admire. I really admire Dr. Aparna because. she has been an inspiration not only for me but definitely for many many of us so coming from you really means a lot and really thankful for you know appreciating my humble journey you are at this level but still if you are appreciating me for my humble journey that really means a lot for me thank you so much so and uh, that's very true dr aparna you said it very right that i resonate my journey with your journey because uh, you also you know switched your profession from an academician to a corporate trainer so um, i have a baby uh, startup only but yes what actually happened was that is a story which i'll try to um, uh, bring it in nutshell so that we can uh, discuss on various other issues also first of all i would like to tell you that i am not prepared at all for today's session as if as in the sense that you know i i must have thought something no i thought it is a candid discussion so i'll definitely talk about actually what happened in my life so i was in a, i was an academician for the past 18 years because uh, very uh, you know early in my life just after my graduation and post graduation i was able to clear uh, my national eligibility test for lecturership so i came in teaching at a very early age and after 18 years of teaching at uh, various uh, elite institutes of pink city i must say uh what actually happened i started training not as a full time profession but as a side hustle because of my love for public speaking two major factors dr aparna happened with me 
I think it was destined. That's why it happened. Two major factors was for first was my PhD thesis uh, topic was corporate social responsibility, and this corporate social responsibility became mandate in 2013 companies law. So there was actually you know a demand of trainers in the market who could uh, tell public about who can tell the employees about corporate so social responsibility, and the trainers were not many. So I got an edge over uh, the because I had this topic. Secondly, my college director where I was working, the director was a very affluent, very influential corporate trainer in Jaipur. So he was at this level, he was an experienced level. So what he was doing, any smaller task he was getting, any smaller projects he was getting, he was not interested to go for the smaller training. So he somehow transferred it to me. So here started my journey as a side hustle, but not completely. It was just a side hustle. So the overall journey started after I had my certification from ProTouch. And that was a wonderful thing. Actually, I feel that, you know, it was destined. That's why while scrolling, I found this course on ProTouch. And Dr. Aparna, I must tell you that it was not the first course I, uh, you know, scrolled and I went through. I went through many courses, but somehow when I went to the website of ProTouch, I somehow, I don't know, I felt that uh, this is the place where I have to land because there it was, you know, your uh, genuinity, your authenticity shows by your work. So it showed and I took it up and it really helped me. Fantastically, it helped me in my career. Dr. Arti, I'm actually surprised. Is your corporate trainer's journey started after the certification? Um, uh, to be honest, uh, Dr. Aparna, yes, it was for, for the, as a full-timer trainer, yes, it started after ProTouch. I was doing it just uh, as a side hustle. And since there are so many teachers sitting here, so I would uh, uh, wish to tell them also that if you wish to come to this, uh, this beautiful profession of being a corporate trainer, try to do something along with your teaching as I did. Because along with teaching, I was doing it so so I had some of the idea, but then I thought, Dr. Aparna, there is no corporate which does not want a certification, a good certification. Co while, you know, as a side hustle, it is okay. You are getting training along with the teaching. So that is okay. I was really enjoying that. But when I saw that the corporates want everything in black and white, they want you to have good certification. Then my search started. And then uh, while, you know, I was searching, I found ProTouch and after ProTouch, you empowered us so much. We felt so empowered. Why I'm saying we? Because not only me, but, you know, all the participants of our batch and other batches also. I felt so empowered that I was confident enough to start my journey as a corporate trainer, as a full-timer. Amazing. That is really great to know because that's a surprise for me. That's wonderful, right? So... You know, still you were into teaching, right? What was that one thing was motivating you to come to corporate training? What is there? You know, what is it that one kick you get when we think about corporate training? So, uh, Dr. Aparna, you may laugh and all the participants may also laugh on this because I'll be very honest and candid. Uh, see, teaching is my first love. So obviously, I was enjoying teaching very much since you also come from teaching and so many teachers are sitting there. They know that how uh, passionate we are about teaching and how satisfying teaching career is. But then what happened? As I told you, when I started going to some companies and banks as a corporate trainer, I enjoyed the, uh, you know, the warmth. Um, I'll give you an example that will uh, make the things easier. You go to class every day. You find a certain set of students every day. You are not introduced to those students every day. She is Dr. Aarti Chopra. She is a wonderful orator. She has got these many degrees and all. No, no. Every day it doesn't happen. 
you go for training every day you get a warm welcome by the corporates and banks and wherever you are going they'll introduce you to so many participants adult participants and they will you know uh, they will clap for you they will uh, they will show their gratitude towards you they will listen to you they will be quiet and they will uh, want to have value from you so that you know that is something which which gave me um, this thing you know this kick as you said that this kick that oh this is a wonderful career because this way i'll be able to influence many lives i'll be able able to in, impact many lives and at various levels not only at a particular level as in a class there are students of 18 years or 19 years but here we'll be able to impact the lives of say for an example a person of 55 years we are impacting him also so that actually gave me a kick and uh, then i you know joined protach <laughs> How wonderful is that? You know, when Dr. Arti, when I re recall my days, when I also got doctorate degree and, you know, everyone was like, Chalo, life is settled. <laughs> now, professor, nine to five job. And another attraction towards teaching is summer vacations. Isn't yeah. it? How wonderful. And students love, students love professors like anything, right? However, hmm. one thing was there which I was missing, you know, I always used to say, Maza yaar. When I go to classroom, when I say, hey, good morning, everyone. I don't have a fear. You know, because I knew it's the same PPT, it's the same class. However, in the last, you know, few years, when what I started doing when I used to go to the classroom, every class I used to take it as a trainer. And especially my topics were organizational behavior, HR, those psychological theories, actual social experiment I started doing and I started loving. However, still sometimes I used to feel that students are sitting there for attendance and not for education. So then I said, okay, I may have four to five students in my class, but there should be hunger to learn. Right? If there is a hunger to learn, I will also grow. There should be fear. And that is where I feel, chalo, kuch karte hain. What will happen if it doesn't work? Still, I will get a job. Itna to education hai, experience hai, that we will get a job, right? And with that attitude, I also started. And uh, yes, that was a, I will say, jump. That was a jump. However, there was a transition period which I was able to manage, okay? So just would like to know, how did you get that your first order? Uh, Dr. Rapina, before answering this, I would I, uh, like to say that I resonate completely with this situation. Uh, as you said that, you know, I was also looking for uh, the class which is hungry for getting something out of it. So um, that really, really, I can feel, I can really resonate with your, uh, uh, this thing. And same thing happened with me. Uh, actually, the story went like this. I was working as a principal in my last institution where I worked with. But unfortunately, COVID had hit very hard on some of the institutions. And our institution, unfortunately, was one of them. And after COVID, we had dearth of students and the, the uh, college management decided to shut down the college. And then I was left with two choices, either to join any random college as an assistant professor or to start something of my own. So I decided I'll start something of my own. And similarly, as you said, I also thought the same thing. I'll give it a try so that in my life, I'll never regret that I never started something of my own. If it doesn't work, if it is a failure, some unfortunately, if it doesn't work, I have certain degrees, I can always go back to teaching. I have the, those degrees with me. With the, with the same thing, I started it. But uh, I don't see myself going back till now because uh, as far as the orders, uh, orders are concerned, so uh, the, my main uh, fear was how would I go get the orders? Because see, okay, I, now I got wonderful certification. Uh, ProTouch has tie-ups with the, you know, lot of elite institutions, SHRM certificated gives. I have good certification. I have good experience. Everything is there. But how will I get the clients? So Dr. Aparna, I have noticed 
and i wish to tell all the teachers sitting here that will not be difficult at all because we are living in an era of digital uh, technology so once you put it on your digital platforms once you put it on your uh, linkedin in your facebook your instagram that you are into training also along with the teaching or maybe completely into training there are training is such a booming industry people are looking for good trainers and this is a chain actually you get initially you may have to go for some pro bono sessions also and initially if you go for some pro bono or some you know sessions which pay you very very less then also go for it because this is a chain once you go to suppose i went to you know a pnb and then they said ma'am canara bank wale bhi aapke liye pooch rahe the we, we want one good trainer so it, it, somehow it it was a chain and uh, also since we are teachers we have uh, we have a network in schools and colleges if you are a school teacher you will have a network obviously when you are teaching for a longer duration you you tend to make a network in your own industry so if you are a teacher you will have your own network so the people in your network will also start calling you madam ye college ka induction program hai orientation hai do come for our students do come for our students and this way the the word of mouth and uh, this way definitely the things get promoted also when you get certification as i got certification from protach i you know showed it everywhere i had put it on my linkedin on my facebook everywhere so people got to know and there were so many calls from where you did it can i also do it so there were so many queries because you know people are looking for upskilling these days because everybody knows the value of upskilling these days so it happened with me like this i had posted and some of my old uh, clients and network also worked and then it became a chain so definitely it, it was like it was a journey it was you know gradually it increased amazing i'm able to connect to that word called chain i think this is another uh, you know pattern coming out i have also experienced this chain i still recall those days when i used to conduct the sessions pro bono basis in my own university on saturdays i used to call them and i used to tell my dean you don't give me anything you don't give me lunch ka budget any other budget you give me that seminar hall because you know that time there was nothing called zoom before covid so the biggest challenge was venue a venue that means there is a cost if there is a cost then there is a lunch and everything now what should i do so i said i will start taking care of your mdps and everything you give me that seminar hall and you know when god has a plan god also planned few people in your life and my dean said okay go ahead so saturday when the college is off i used to have the team of volunteers i'm so thankful to them right and they used to come they used to help me i used to give them certificates and i used to do it pro bono basis i will tell you one more secret you know i told my family i said see i don't want to buy anything on diwali dashera anything but i want to use that budget for my training programs <laughs> okay because lunch was sponsored by me i said see we will not have so many people coming to your house so let's see that let's think that we have thrown one party and i used to make lunch arrangement certificate arrangement Uh, you know everything pro bono believe me that those sessions gave me next level of training and i was also blessed with some people who collaborated with me collaboration at the beginning certainly works everyone if you feel that okay doing first session is not easy for me alone take someone with you and if that one person is from corporate that will be the good combination to have to begin with okay not necessarily the person has to be from a very senior level anything but you know bring those two people together that is academician and a corporate professional so academician delivers concept and the corporate person gives the practical experiences and that combination works really well everyone and then before covid we used to have networking and i don't know why dr arti the way you said chain i used to have i will get one session from this networking event 
एट एनी कॉस्ट अगर फ्री में मिला तो भी चलेगा बट आई वॉन्ट वन सेशन This college, that college, that company, and LinkedIn, Facebook. It was like you know, full of photographs. Everyone started thinking, how come she is getting everything, right? Mera objective hi rata tha mujhe photographs mile because if I get photographs, I will get next order. I hope I am not boring you, everyone. But these experiences. You are absolutely right. You. Absolutely <laughs> right, <laughs> Doctor Apadna. You are saying something very practical. Actually, you are absolutely right. And as you said, Doctor Arti, our digital footprints are very important. You know, today also in the afternoon, I received a call from one person. I did a post TTT from you. and i have not got a single order i said okay and i was immediately on my laptop i said okay give me your linkedin id i saw there was only one certificate was posted on linkedin i said okay in our last session we said funnel we said client calling we said linkedin and digital footprints kahan hai how will you get it i said guarantee you will not get it because please understand certificates will give you entry after that very important you have to work on your marketing as well no matter how great sales person you are sorry trainer and teacher you are but if you are not a great marketer then it is challenge right and dr arti i have seen your photographs i keep seeing you on instagram i keep and your life is all there right and people love to see a trainer with all angles you know your fun side your serious side your family side try to put it as long as you're not giving your credit card number social media is good don't worry hum itne koi celebrity nahi hai ki hame koi troll karne wala hai main to chahti hu koi kare lekin nahi kar raha hai abhi tak so bhi famous hona baki hai <laughs> right oh my so, god dr aparna i can resonate with the every single word you have spoken every single word that's what i tell people why don't you put your pictures if you have taken a training even if it is pro bono put it on your social media so that it is you know other people will also come to know yesterday only i went for fun prasadi and you won't believe three people were there ma'am we look at your photographs on facebook oh such wonderful training you they did not uh, attend my training also but only through pictures they could uh, recognize that you know uh, it was a, it must have been a wonderful training so we'll also call you in our college we'll also call you my husband is working with xyz company i will tell him he will also call you so this way uh, this uh, you know the whole chain begins so it is very amazing. important to do amazing that. and you know i'm able to see that you have a very long way to go however dr arti i have a very specific question audience and participants i would also uh, need your help keep putting your questions also in the chat box okay but i want to know what happens you know in global world or if you go outside india doctors uh, academicians are very much respected and here also we are respected though however corporate people and all they all want to learn from them you know you have so much knowledge however in india when i was shifting i faced that problem people thought that it's you're a academician means you will be training us on theory theory right that is what was coming in their mind and that was a image challenge or a brand challenge i feel did you also work on your personal branding when you were transitioning it will be really nice to know how did you manage that Uh, image management from a teacher to a corporate trainer right uh, dr aparna actually uh, to an extent it is right because uh, coming from teaching to corporate training uh, obviously had some of the challenges it had some of the um, like uh, benefits also obviously because people were sure that if you are a teacher you must be a good orator you must be a good public speaker so definitely and then you must have the uh, you know passion for learning because teachers also as we all know that they are also um, you know bound to undergo fdps and refresher programs and all so definitely there are certain benefits you get from this image the image of being a teacher 
but then uh, to be very very honest and frank with you uh, yes there are certain uh, image foundations which a teacher has to face and the most important is a teacher hai to thoda behen ji wala hoga matlab teacher hai to corporate wala nahi hoga and for for a, a very very small example as in teaching we come from education background we call everybody sir and ma'am everybody even if it is a clerical staff or you know anyone who is working there will call them sir or ma'am but in corporate sector it is like you take the name even if the person is my husband takes the name of the chairman of the company because he likes it that way he has made the culture so the culture is definitely different so coming from teaching has its own benefits but definitely it has its own challenges also because people may have this kind of image ki are corporate wali nahi hai na but uh, see we have to uh, break the glass ceilings and uh, dr rapina i feel if i can do it anyone can do it because i have a very traditional image i am the kind of person who loves to you know uh, look traditional um, uh, my personality my overall persona is little bit of you know more indian side and traditional side but if i could do it definitely everyone can do it it is same like Now that students accept you in the class. There are different types of teachers. Some teachers are very strict, very you know, khadus what we call them in our normal language. Some are very engaging. Some are very friendly. But after a certain period, students accept the teacher the way she is, and students understand that every teacher will not be same. Same way, if a teacher comes to a corporate training. she has to adopt the basic framework but then every person has a different kind of personality which trainees also accept that way and trainees feel that oh th this person is like that so they feel uh, you know a, a person is like that suppose for an example a trainer one trainer may be very authoritative you know very authoritative so we dr aparna i i don't know i shouldn't be saying this or not but when we were doing the course we found dr aparna we were like little scared we have to be on time nine means nine because we felt she is authoritative and she may scold us if we are late so probably i will not be able to give that vibe because i may not seem that authoritative but i feel that uh, you know obviously in the beginning this image uh, may be challenging but definitely with time if you adopt basic framework of the corporate sector definitely people will accept you people will accept you the way you are and everyone has a different persona and this will never come into your way definitely amazing, it will amazing amazing everyone needs to pour a lots of love the way aarti dr aarti is saying i think she is true candidate today amazing uh, and yes you know dr aarti one thing is there that yes i sound authoritative i don't know i have tried lot of things and that's what i feedback i always get बट वो अमित शाह का डायलॉग है ना मैं डाटता नहीं हूँ मेरी आवाज थोड़ी खराब है मेरी आवाज में गड़बड़ है आई थिंक दैट इज आल्सो एप्लीकेबल टू मी हाउ एवर दैट्स हाउ आई एम इट आल्सो टुक लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर मी टू आई ऑलवेज से व्हाई एम नॉट सो फ्रेंडली व्हाई एम नॉट लाइक दिस व्हाई डू आई साउंड अथॉरिटेटिव आई थिंक दैट्स ओके कोई गड़बड़ नहीं है गॉड हैज मेड यू लाइक दैट एंड वी नीड टू एक्सेप्ट एंड व्हेन यू आर सेइंग दिस आई एम आई एम आल्सो एबल टू रिकॉल व्हेन आई यूज्ड टू सी दोस ट्रेनर्स यू नो वेयरिंग दोस ब्लेजर्स एंड दोस हील्स एंड टिकटॉक आई यूज्ड टू फील ओ माय गॉड हाउ विल आई डू दैट बिकॉज़ आई एम अ वेरी सारी काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन आई सेड हाउ विल आई डू दैट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई रियलाइज्ड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज टू इज टू अप्रिशिएट योर ओन पर्सनालिटी योर ओन कंफर्ट because ultimately we are going in the corporate world or anywhere for our knowledge and not for our dressing okay so if we in fact i have come across such a wonderful trainers if you see them you feel acha ye trainer hai lekin baad mein pata chalta you know it's all about their their knowledge right however still corporate world will look at our dressing and other attire okay there was some uh, one some someone was asking me a question what is the difference between teaching and corporate training i'll just tell you teaching is more one way download okay and training is two way and training is more on applicability everyone so until and unless if you don't give the solution to the corporate executive 
how will I apply this tool in my life at work till that time they will not get satisfied. So you may have different models like Johari window, you will have skill wheel metric, you will have situational leadership, you will have so many things. How will I apply it? If I'm able to apply it, I think that is where you are done. However, over a period of time, I also felt every month, we should also train our college graduates in a similar way. Why there is a difference? However, there will be UGC guidelines, there will be a lot of things, there is a curriculum driven. You know, college is curriculum driven, whereas corporate is skill driven. It is okay that you train us in one thing, but you develop that one skill in our employees and you will solve. Very important, there is a business problem which we need to solve. And to solve that business problem, we need to develop skills among participants. That is what corporate training is all about. Mm -hmm. Dr. Arti, another one important thing. That is, when there is a transition from teacher to the trainer, the major problem many teachers face, how can they make it relevant for corporate executives? So what are the steps? I mean, how did you update yourself? How did you make your uh, sessions relevant to the corporate world. It will be really nice if you can share a few tips with the participants. Yes, yes. Uh, sure, Dr. Aparna. Um, I may go to, probably in the next uh, question, I may go to some uh, challenges also, or maybe some differences between, you know, I have noticed between teaching and training, but with your, this question, I will definitely go first with the, uh, with the kind of, uh, you know, things, how, how continuous learning, like I must say, that we have to go or the kind of certifications or the kind of, uh, you know, active learning. See, uh, as I told you, being a teacher also, being an active learner is very important because uh, suppose I graduated in the year 2000 and now I'm teaching graduation students in 2023. So there are so many uh, new aspects come up, which I do not know. In our times, there was no term like stress management or time management or disaster management or something like that. But now we have to tell all these things to the students. So obviously teachers also keep learning. The best thing for teachers to come to this training industry is they, uh, they have this ability to uh, learn continuously. They also learn continuously. And if I talk about the trainers, so definitely it is very, very important, Dr. Aparna, to stay updated. To stay updated with the latest trends, techniques and methodology in teaching and training, of course, training. Because uh, see, if you are updated, then only you will be ensuring high standard of corporate training delivery. And uh, see, the training industry is rapidly evolving. There are so many uh, things which are coming up. So what you have to do as a teacher, when you become a trainer, you have to refresh your old knowledge, whatever you have. At the same time, along with refreshing the no old knowledge, you have to keep continue, uh, you know, getting new knowledge also. So that means you have to work on two ways. One is you start grabbing new uh, knowledge. Suppose, uh, for an example, diversity and inclusion. Dr. Aparna is a, you know, expert in this area. This area was not there a few, few years back, if we say. This was not very, you know, a buzzword. It was not a buzzword. But now this is a buzzword. And now every second uh, order I'm getting, they ask, ma'am, do you conduct uh, this diversity and inclusion training? So that means my old uh, modules were time management, positivity, stress management. So what I have to do at one time, I have to kind of refresh those also, because I cannot show the same PPT, the same slide, same module of time management, which I was showing two years back to the trainees now. So I have to keep refreshing that also at the same time, I have to work on diversity, inclusion or any other new topics which are coming up. So now coming to the tips, as Dr. Aparna told me to give some tips. So first thing is my first tip will be. Uh, wherever you go for certifications, please be very conscious and mindful while you get your certification. Why? Because 
say for an example, I took my certification from ProTouch. So ProTouch handholded us throughout, not only uh, throughout the journey of the course, but after that also. How? They have a community. They have a community, so they made me a part of that community. So now I did two courses from ProTouch. So now I am a member of two uh, WhatsApp groups. And I'm telling you, these WhatsApp groups are so, so valuable. And I'm telling you honestly, with all my heart, I may have, you know, 5,000 messages unread on my WhatsApp. I will not open any family chat or my, my khandan wow. chat and this because there are so many uh, such groups. But I'll make it a point that before I sleep, I'll open my TTT and my posh uh, training, uh, you know, this group because there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, insight coming in. And what I do, I do that ethical chori also. Whatever I like, turant. At the same point, I just make it, I just send it to my mail so that I will have it saved forever. So that way, for one thing I told you, when you take certification, please try to see that that particular uh, you know, institution organization which is giving you certificate will not leave your hand once, your, once the certificate is being given. So hand holding is very important that I really love uh, you know, getting from ProTouch. So you will have your own community. Then the second thing is try to attend as many workshops and conferences as you can. Today itself, Dr. Aparna has shared about one conference of PhD Chamber of Commerce uh, that is related to POSH. So whatever webinar, seminar, workshop you get in, about, you get to know about, please try to attend that because you'll have a lot of, lot of inputs and take one notebook, notebook along with you so that you can just write down the, uh, jot down the important points. And then uh, very important thing, which I learned from, uh, again, from Dr. Aparna, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, do it in my LinkedIn account also, if Dr. Aparna must have seen. I am also trying to write blogs. See, writing blogs and reading blogs, again, is a very, very important thing. I felt that it gives a lot of value because when you write a blog, you uh, get, you know, expertise on that particular topic. And then when people appreciate your blog, that gives 100x confidence, 100x confidence. And same thing I do about reading blogs also. Keep reading blogs. So, uh, so these are some of the tips. One is good certification. Second is keep in touch with your peers and, you know, all who have done um, courses with you and try to, you know, be in touch with the organization from where you attained your certificate. Uh, then uh, keep uh, participating in workshops and seminars and then keep writing and reading blogs. So I think these are uh, the tips that come to my mind. Amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Everyone, you can show your thumbs up and even heart. Believe me, it is so much relatable. It is so much relatable. I would like to share only two things with you. In academics, one thing is not so, over, you know, what it is not getting that much attention is the research work. Let me share one tip with all of you. When I was shifting from academics to corporate, I conducted a lot of research. Okay, primary research. And I'm not a number person. I'm a story person. I'm a right brainer. I love to speak to people. So I conducted a lot of qualitative research. While doing that qualitative research, everyone, I was meeting a lot of people. And in that process, I learned corporate language. Corporate lingo is very important. I saw how they are talking, how they are dressed up, how, how, how the dynamics are. Every story gave me one situation which helped me to put it in my, in my training program every month. So along with what Dr. Arti has said, I will suggest go ahead with your research work. Present those papers. That is very important for our own learning. And that is the way you can connect with many corporate people. And you know, you all must be staying in a great apartment. Right now I'm staying in great apartment and there are minimum 800 flats and every flat has got one corporate member. 
I'm not lying. I have gone door to door to get those survey done in my own apartment, everyone. आप जर्मनी में रहते हो जर्मन का कल्चर कैसा है आप आईटी में हो एचपी में क्या हो रहा है आई टू बी वेरी हंग्री एवरी इट इज नॉट ओवर नाइट ओके सो दैट इज वन थिंग यू ऑल विल हैव टू गेट इनटू गेट इनटू रिसर्च आई मीन यू विल नॉट बिलीव रिसेंटली वी कंडक्टेड वन आई मीन टूडे यू ऑल मस्ट हैव रिसीव दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो ऑन ओडी एंड चेंज आई use my actual case study there which i did it for merger and acquisition can you beat this second you know when i wanted to shift to corporate training in 2009 and 2010 before covid of course there was wonderful trainer who was training people so there was a tea break i was standing next to him he could realize that there is a hesitation however i want to ask him something he said yes do you want to ask something i said no i want to become like you please tell me how what is it that i can do and he asked me one question he said okay if you want to become a film actress what is it that you will do i said i will watch many movies okay you want to become a author what will you do i said i will start writing and i will also read lot of books and understand the style he said exactly to become a trainer first of all attend 200 workshops make a note what i learned as a trainer what should i do and what should i not do and see the change everyone today also i'm hungry for learning i still attend lot of training programs sometimes now there is a name sometimes people don't allow me in the training program they say aap mat aao maine bola kyun nahi aao please mujhe seekhne do wo the nahi nahi posh ke session mein aap nahi aa sakte are you getting my point by god grace we have reached to that level but you have to be hungry everyone right i hope we are making lot of sense right dr ati let's take some questions is there any question feel free to unmute yourself and ask the question yes one person can go ahead um there were few questions in the beginning uh, go ahead malika please tell it tell me any yes. question so harshita, i can see ha go ahead harshita asked what is the difference in the journey of corporate trainer if someone is not from teaching background okay so that's wonderful uh, question and today's focus is from teacher to trainer that is the reason we were focused on that uh, rahul would you like to address that question please everyone rahul is also here so yes rahul over to you okay what's the okay the question is what will be the journey if i'm not a teacher and still want to become a trainer is is my understanding right malika yes ma'am well uh, i think uh, journey is pretty much the same for most of us that we first need to learn the craft of uh, what we are getting into you know what we want to train i think there are three areas what i am really passionate about uh, that what i want to train i want to train, train people on communication i want to train people on leadership i want to train people on sales i want to train people on customer success i want to you know whatever i want i want to train people on analytics whatever you want to train people on you know what you are passionate about that's one second is what people are uh, uh, what is the pain through your training what pain can you remove you know uh, whether you can make them better professionals you can make them better individuals what what is the pain that exist either in individuals or in the organizations or in society as large uh, what what is the pain that you can help remove and what people will be willing to pay you for you know once there is a combination of these three i think this transition becomes absolutely smooth how wonderful you know rahul thank you so much for sharing that however let me tell you everyone even corporate people when they want to become a trainer it is also transition 
we think oh, you are so incorporate you to can teach anyone isn't it i think rahul comes from that particular zone that he has spent really great years and amount of time in corporate world in sales and now he has become a trainer and it, it's a journey itself isn't it rahul would you like to yeah. share some challenges which you faced as a corporate executive you became a trainer so what was the challenge you were facing uh see well uh, i i have led lot of leadership roles uh, uh, and and lot of people ask me uh, what have you lost you know some one day someone asked me what have you lost after leaving the corporate world getting into training i said my ego uh because it is you know coming to and and the good part is that i was uh, fortunate with surrounded by people like dr aparna who are coming from academic background uh, and i truly I, one thing that and aparna was saying that if you can collaborate with someone who has a corporate experience and someone having a teaching experience because what teachers bring into the training world is the depth on the subject you know uh people come from industry or coming from corporate world they understand how to apply it better they understand the practical nitty gritties but the depth of the subject is with academicians you know if you're talking johari window everyone would have heard johari window but they they really don't understand the the science behind it the research behind it the subject uh, the academicians bring in a lot of subject expertise and corporate people bring in a lot of application of those uh, concepts and if we can find the right combination at over a period of time no matter you're coming from a corporate background or teaching background you will learn the other part of the world because eventually you have to bring it to training other thing i think that corporate people really struggle initially while delivering trainings is the training methodology you know for teachers it comes very natural you know let people who come from academician they understand how to transfer knowledge very smoothly you know uh, although people who come from corporate have lot of experience but they lack the capability to transfer that experience into others to transfer that knowledge uh, i think those are some of the challenges that uh, so there are advantages and uh, challenges on either side uh, and as a organization at protach i think we have been fortunate to have in house consultation from either side uh, which which really helped us accelerate uh, but uh, i think over a period of time you do it for a couple of years and you learn the other side of it very easy amazing amazing thank you so much for sharing that rahul and this this is what you will get to know everyone we think the grass is greener on the other side however the kind of knowledge academicians will have over a period of time what they have learn conceptually no one can even you know uh, beat that dr arthi there is a wonderful question for you in the chat box let's take that question so dr savita is asking there are so many doctors today you know one thing i would like to share everyone you know in my one of the sessions they were saying hard skill is important or soft skill is important hard skill is important or soft skill important only hard skill of is it no use only soft skill is of no use but imagine if you have a hard skill as well as soft skill you are a doctorate as well as you have a corporate experience and you are a great trainer so ne pe suhaga so try to have both believe me this doctorate degree has certainly helped me a lot it has given me a lot of credibility so do not underestimate the power of education keep learning you know that is what i get to see so let's have a question from dr savita my question is to dr arti hello dr arti you are an amazing orator my question is as you are from management background so it becomes easy for you to become a corporate trainer but if someone is from science and humanity background will it be possible to become a corporate trainer amazing question over to you dr arti 
So thank you so much, Dr. Savita, for this question. Actually, this question is very good. And um, after answering your question, I would take the liberty and I would take the liberty of the guest speaker today. And I will uh, give my, you know, I will second my thought for what uh, Rahul sir and Dr. Aparna has said. So firstly, I'll go for uh, your answer. So uh, Dr. Savita, your fear is not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it is 100% wrong. Definitely, when you come from a particular field, you are more aware about its terminology. Suppose I come from commerce and management background. So leadership, teamwork, jewelry window, MBO, these terms come very handy for me because obviously I have been studying it for years. But obviously, Dr. Savita, it is not like that. The teachers who have joined us who are not from commerce and management background, but they are from humanities and science background, they won't become a corporate trainer. No, it is not like that. Because as Dr. Aparna just said, everything is holistic. You know, you have to, uh, you have to be a combination of many things. So it has to be holistic. So only subject knowledge will not work. As Rahul sir said that uh, the teachers have one skill which is known as transferability skills. How beautifully they are able to transfer. I remember one of my teachers, she was a gold medalist. That means she was very intelligent. But she was not able to transfer whatever she had, uh, you know, in her, the knowledge. So teachers usually have the transferability skills. So one is either you come from science or humanities or commerce, you will have one beautiful thing that is the way you transfer your knowledge. Second thing is obviously communication skills because you know, you're, you're communicating with students for so many years. So definitely your communication skills are very good. And then most important thing is emotional intelligence because being a teacher, you are dealing with students. So definitely you are empathetic, you have good listening skills because every student comes from a different, you know, mindset, different background. So uh, you definitely if you are a teacher teaching, th these things comes automatically with teaching like empathy and listening skills. And then your presentation skills, how you present yourself in front of everyone. And then understanding the needs of the trainee, that teacher knows very well whether, it, whether she comes from uh, uh, humanities or science, understanding the needs of a trainee. So I feel uh, the training delivery is a combination of all these things, your presentation skills, your communication skills, your emotional intelligence, the way you present, and of course, your subject knowledge. And then one very important thing is industry knowledge. I have seen, uh, I am telling it to all the participants, I have seen that wherever I go, that particular company or industry wants me to have a basic knowledge of that particular particular industry also for example i went for uh, i went for a conflict management training in a bank so what they told me they told me you should have the uh, idea of conflicts which is going on in banking industry so obviously you are, you you must have the knowledge about a particular industry so every time you have to go prepared with the industry knowledge also so i think uh, whether you come from humanities or science or management as a teacher, if you hold these skills, definitely you can become a very, very successful trainer and you'll definitely become a successful trainer. So uh, I here I... Dr. Arte. I think Dr. Arte has very, uh, said it very rightly. Ultimately, you know, uh, when it comes to a corporate training, three skills are very important. One is knowledge. Second is a training delivery. And third is a credibility. And between knowledge and training delivery, training delivery skills takes the first rank. Knowledge thoda hoga to chalega, lekin jo hai wo kaise deliver kar rahe ho, wo bahut matter karta hai. And that is what is makes a huge difference here. And somewhere, yes, uh, I do agree with certain people that yes, that is, you know, uh, when someone comes from a uh, management background, certainly it becomes little easier in corporate. However, you have to look at your strength and go ahead. And hence, if you look at it in our certification program, which we have uh, of, uh, trained the trainer, you know, we also have an internship. And believe me, it goes so wonderfully, which will help you to establish yourself as a corporate trainer, right? 
Shaili has raised a hand uh, since quite long time. Shaili, would you like to unmute and ask a question? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Parna. I've been long trying to speak something. I'm so excited after hearing uh, to Dr. Arti. Um, in fact, I had written in chat box also. Uh, I'm exactly at the position where Dr. Arti must have been a few years back. I was working as a head headmistress in a very reputed school. And uh, I left my job in January. I had some medical issues. I couldn't sit for eight to 10 hours at a stretch. But then I did not stop. I somehow saw the ad of Protash. I attended the posh training and it was a life-changing experience for me. I was lying on the bed and attending those sessions. So, and then after learning hasn't stopped. I've always been reading what has, whatever has been posted in the WhatsApp group. It's such a, you know, huge learning, very excellent learning platform. You got to learn so much. But yes, I have my apprehensions. And after hearing to Dr. R.P., I feel that uh, I can get rid of them. I'm a lot more confident than I was a few minutes back. But still, I would like to have some advice from Dr. Arti because, you know, I have been uh, hearing over the years that I'm good at speaking. But then being good at speaking is not enough for being a trainer that I have understood after attending the training programs because you have to have that knowledge and that skill and that ability to deliver. But still, to move on to corporate, I have an MBA uh, degree. I was into a corporate job before I joined education, but it's years back. I'm today 44 years old, and I had that apprehension in my mind. That, am I old enough for this transition? Will I fit into the corporate sector now? Do I have a chance? These questions do come in my mind, but this is all what I have, and it is very important for me to make you know, a name for myself in this industry. So any advice coming from you, Dr. Arti, would like be a Bible for me. Hey, ma'am, thank you so much. And Dr. Aparna, I was actually you know, craving to answer this even before she asked this. So uh, this, thank you so much for this question, Shelly Prakash. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy. And I can uh, you know, relate to your journey. I can see that you were in corporate, then you went to academics. And then when you went to academics, you were at very good positions. You were a headmistress at a very reputed um, you know, school. And then now now, after maybe some unfortunate incidents related to your health, you have left your job and now you are, you know, wishing you are aspiring to restart your journey as a trainer. So, uh, Shelly, ma'am, you can definitely start that. I was actually craving to answer this when Dr. Aparna talked about research. So, Shelly, ma'am, what I mean to say here is that uh, everybody who sees from outside they see only the delivery part. And I will tell you the delivery is the most, you know, royal or the shahi thing, which, you know, I can say that is the, that is the, when you go for any wedding, no, you see beautiful buffet and all good dishes, but you know that how much, you know, mess is after, you know, beyond that. Because, you know, matar bhi char din pehle chile ja rahe hai, paneer bhi a raha hai, sab karchiyan bhi chal rahe So, lot of mess goes, you know, before that. And then only we are able to see that beautiful buffet. So, when I started this, my own setup, I got lot of calls, lot of calls from my peer group, some of my students who are well settled. Ma'am, we also be want to become a trainer. Will you will you give us chance to become a co-trainer? So uh, through this platform, with a lot of respect towards them, I am very happy that they want to come to this. But with a lot of respect, I want to tell you the honest thing. The delivery part, the training part is the most royal part that comes that comes at the end. Lot of hard work, lot of efforts goes on uh, before the delivery, before the actual delivery. So Shelly, ma'am, as a teacher, one thing is you will be very, very organized because teachers are very organized because they have their lesson plans well in place. They know they have to complete their syllabus in this much time. Mm -hmm. So those who are not coming from teaching background, they feel only delivery has to be done. But the background work is much more than the, the delivery part. Delivery is the last, that is the cherry on the cake. 
the cake has to be made and this requires lot of mess and hard work and energy so i was uh, about to second the thoughts of dr aparna where she said that lot of research is required and uh, in background what you have to do which you will easily be able to do because you have been a headmistress in a school a lot of research so if suppose for an example you are going for a training uh, the topic of that training is conflict management so what you have to do delivery is the last thing firstly you should know that what kind of conflicts people actually get to see in uh, current days in these days then uh, try to collect as many videos and expressive pictures as possible because when you go for training i feel that participants want to get engaged they do not want one way you know lecture method that we go we speak and we come back okay. and okay. How, no and how they get engaged if you sh if you add a little bit of humor to your training if you add little bit of you know activities engaging activities to your training if you add little bit of good videos uh, smaller videos whatsapp 100 videos we keep getting every day try to find out what i do i try to find out the uh, video which seems to be apt for a particular training uh, method and i uh, mail it to myself so add some small videos then you can add some small stories as dr aparna said she is a storyteller so stories give lot of and as a teacher shelly ma'am we are story storytellers yes, yes. <laughs> we are so good at telling stories to the students because we have to inculcate ethics in them as a teacher we have to inculcate values in students and how we do it we mostly we do it through stories so in training also we have to add stories so definitely if you have been a head mistress in a school or maybe a, a senior teacher at a school i am sure i am 100% sure that you can become a very good trainer just you need to do is the good certification from one good certification and a community so that you keep learning from the community and that automatically you know becomes Amazing, dr arti and uh, thank you so much thank you so much person the way you have expressed you know i spent almost 13 years in theater okay i had no clue why did i go to that those theater classes but today it becomes very handy for me for conducting post tt program they know how i become a villain sometimes also right <laughs> that becomes very handy but in theater is very important six months you have to practice for that one hour play right no one sees that they only see your your picture in the newspaper and that is very something difficult uh, difficult like yesterday only i was conducting a training for very young participants on employee sensitization of posh you know i was telling my family i got a best ever compliment yesterday in the lift i said uh, i mean you know there were some participants with me in the lift uh, the the young boy he was a little reluctant to speak to me but i passed the smile he passed the smile i said okay he was he smoked also so he knew he will not speak much <laughs> however he said you know madam ek baat batao maine bola bolo kuch samay ke liye ye laga ki main stand up comedy dekh raha hu i mean aapne itna heavy subject light kaise banaya because you know audience they don't want to know your definition they want to know the stories like posh also if i'm telling them what is the definition of sexual harassment under section xyz they don't want to know that right how simplify you can do and i will say uh, dr shelly if you had been on a, such a great position certainly people management and team management you must have done how to get things done from you different personalities you have come across believe me whether it is academics whether it is corporate as long as you are dealing with people everything is relevant how do you bring that experience in the corporate training that makes a difference kabhi kabhi scenarios change kijiye boliye school college ka nahi bolenge you know you have to change some setup story remains same change the setup and background you will see amazing results there okay wonderful so thank you so much thank you so much yes venu venu has a question yes he has raised the hand go ahead venu please I... 
I don't have question. I would like to say something about teachers. Okay. Uh, uh, what I've heard from the two major newspapers of uh, Statesman or New York Times, what I would about teachers is that one journalist asked uh, the Poland prime minister, why do you pay good salaries to the teachers and why not to the engineers and doctors? So the Poland prime minister said, if you want a good country, you need to pay, you need to have good teachers. And if you want to have good teachers, you have to pay good money or else your country will become corrupt. You'll have bad practices in your country. That is point Venu, one. Venu, Very I would true. like to ask, where are these colleges who are paying high to teachers? I said Poland. I said Poland. I said Poland, Poland not India. Poland, Poland, right. Poland, Poland. Right. Poland that's said, very true. Because I said Poland. Very true. Yeah. Uh, and second is, mm. second is Britain. Yes. A school headmaster earns more than a British prime minister. The reason is that uh, when the same question was asked to the British prime minister, James Cameron, when he was a prime minister, he said, you go to a class, which is from fifth to 10th class, you take up the class for a week, then you'll see the pain of the teacher, how she handles the entire class for one week. And to manage young kids within five to 10 years of age, it's not that easy. The prime minister can sit on his chair, he can give orders, that's very easy. But to manage a class by a teacher, it's very difficult. So these are two things uh, which I thought I should say something about teachers. And very I, very I, true. I often very go true. to school for my sons, all nut cut things I go to school. So when I go the school administrator, she's very strict. Initially, when she called me up, I was a little bit hesitant. I said, yeah, my judge ka samne ja ke bhaashan dhonga, lekin ab ye teacher ka samne koon ja ke bhaashan dhega? Usko da me kuch bol bhi nahi sakta on teacher ko. <laughs> then after I went to, I with great hesitation, I went to I say, yes, ma'am, I with folded hands, like, yes, ma'am, tell me what my son did. Your son did this in class, like this, 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 this. I said, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry for my son. Yes, 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 yes. Then suddenly I saw a piece of paper on a, on a table, a file. Then she was referring, some bloody advocate idiot sent me this notice to me. Uh, she was uh, telling on phone to someone else. Some lady advocate sent this notice to me. Now I have to run behind the court, this, this. I said, madam, can I see the document? I said, what it is that? She was looking at me like this. Who's this person to ask me to see school <laughs> some document? I said, give it to me. So I saw the document. I said, Mitha, don't worry, madam. I'll fight your case free of course. You nothing will happen to you. <laughs> she says, are you a lawyer? I said, I'm a criminal lawyer. Don't worry. I'll bail you out. <laughs> From that day till now, she never calls me to school about my son's mistakes. She only calls me. How are you, sir? I said, fine. I send a WhatsApp, everything on teachers, on whatever court judgments comes on teachers. And even the Delhi High Court recently told that all the private teachers should be paid salaries at par with the government teachers. The Delhi High Court. Recently... Thank you so much, Venu, for that. And as you said rightly, that you know whether they are kindergarten school children or they are high school children or they are college students, I think every every age has got a different challenge, and that is where teachers get their emotional intelligence from, right? And uh, I don't tell stories. What I uh, love about training. you is, you know, what is your talk is you forgot in front of the teacher who are you. When teacher is in front of you and you said that, you know, what my son has done. And that is what is the attitude because nowadays becoming a teacher is also not easy because kya bola tumhe teacher ne batao? Kaun si teacher ne bola batao? If this is the language going to be there about teachers, then how teachers will be able to teach their children, right? In fact, I told really? the teacher, so Madam, I'll give you a stick, you hit my son. Why are you not <laughs> no, hitting no, no, him? That, <laughs> that that's good. We, we need now. parents. Uh. So everyone now, please, let's go to any other question. I saw somewhere in your message, teachers are becoming corporate trainer as a yeah, part. Uh, hi, Aparna. Huh. Yes. Uh, hi, Aparna and hi, uh, Rahul uh, Sethi, sir. Sorry, again, from academia, sir, and ma'am comes out of uh, uh, actually respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's a habit I, we have to actually forego. I just want to understand one thing. Uh, many questions were actually answered through uh, Aparna and uh, uh, Dr. Arti Chop Chopra's talk. Many things were clear, right? Uh, as Aparna know me, uh, I have a, a 17 plus years of experience. Uh, till 2019, I was working as a regular faculty. Then after 2019, I become a, a visiting professor in various institutes. I, uh, my subject area is finance. And uh, uh, but uh, uh, 
during uh, passing the finance lectures, it got bored after some time. So I used to uh, motivate my students with my little bit of uh, storytelling or uh, otherwise uh, learning, uh, giving them learning objectives. If you are FM, what will you be able to do in your personal life? Mein? CA, you can calculate kar sakte. you can have that things, right? So I usually got good comments from students that, ma'am, just uh, the way you study finance, so finance accounts, finance accounts, nahi lagte. they become easy in layman's language. Mein. Then I suddenly thought, ki, uh, why not uh, class se nikal ke corporate training ki taraf kuch socha jaye? Because jab, uh, colleges mein, universities mein induction programs hote hain, convocation programs hote hain, to we as a teachers are fillers there. Ki chalo, aap ye uh, karwa do bachon ko, emotional intelligence pe kuch baat kar lete hain. Then I thought of, mujhe uh, kal baithe baithe achanak se dhyan aaya, then I give a message to Aparna. Mene ka Aparna ne journey apni start kar li thi. Uh, and uh, uh, I am a great admirer for Aparna Sethi. Although hum logo ne mushkil se nine months or ten months hi saath mein kaam kiya. Then Aparna uh, ne uh, jo hai apna pro-touch start kar diya tha. Or I used to be in that academic area. I just want to understand uh, the basic uh, difference between your programs. You may answer here or you can answer me uh, individually also. I understand there is one training program for Posh, one training program for emotional uh, intelligence. There is one program at the first, right? So who should attend that program uh, I will take your question, Monica. Yeah. You, and I will take it right now because there are many people who would love to know. Right. So there are two train the trainer programs ProTouch has. One is plain train the trainer, which is more broad, right? Which will tell you the techniques of understanding the client need, training need analysis, content development, content delivery, business. Business means how to get business as well as how to find out your niche. Okay. And believe me, there is no theory. There are only tools we will be telling you. Okay. And people ask me, which book are you using? It's a book called Life. Because okay. all the trainers, especially I and Rahul, we lead these training programs. Throughout a week, we go in corporates and deliver the programs. On over weekends, we share our experiences with our participants. Right. So whatever struggle I have gone through, hey. like for example, you know, uh, if there is a training program, I used to get 10 days tension. Or I not have family tension. It's a training. Hai. Because so much content is there. What to do? I want to give my best. But over a period of time, I came up with certain techniques I used and that is doable. Believe me, everything is so hands-on. I mean, Dr. Arti has done both the courses, but that is very open. So once you do that train the trainer program, which is open, you can take any training okay. in corporate. Okay. That can be emotional intelligence, stress, conflict, leadership, any program. Okay. So that is one program is very open. Second program is Posh TTT, which is a niche, nice. which talks about how prevention of sexual harassment of workplace works in the corporate environment. Okay? So that talks about completely law. Yeah, of yeah. course, it is not only about law, but it is 360. That means, you know, people like Venu who are also advocates, they have also done it. Because the way advocate look at that particular law, the way HR look at that particular law, the right. way CS yeah. look at that particular law, the way NGOs look at for that law, Everything is covered under that program. But when you do Posh TTT, you can conduct the session on Posh only. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when you do train the trainer program, which is TTT simple, that opens the broader window for you. Yeah. I hope everyone got a lot of clarity on this. Right. And yeah. you're welcome to do both the programs. I will tell you that you will certainly not regret. Pata nahi kyun. 100% देने की कोशिश करते हैं कुछ भी रखने की कोशिश नहीं करते बिकॉज़ प्रोटेज बिलीव्स इन वन थिंग योर सक्सेस इज आवर प्रोग्रेस कहां ले जाओगे सी यू कैन टेक द कंटेंट यू कैन कॉपी द कंटेंट यू 
cannot copy the x factor of the person which is yes definitely i do agree with aparna so we give everything posh so it is plug and play right even in train the trainer program you also get the six soft skill programs separate you know various trainers come deliver everything but, but come with the open thought only learning business will follow i always say think about the impact income will follow if you start with income na to impact pe compromise kar doge okay so we can uh, if you want monica come over come to office yeah, or let's sit in the cafe i would love to speak to you because monica is the person who has seen my journey from academics to right this. right and i remember i remember one thing avarna sorry to interrupt uh, yeah. and the, all of uh, all the audience must know this that uh, uh, the day i met aparna she uh, that was the first joining day for aparna and i was in a fuss i was organizing some uh, event at the university and she came to me and uh, uh she uh, offered help uh, you need any help i was like i was shocked ki mere sath ke colleagues are relaxing kyunki mera duty pe naam hai and i have to do this thing and aparna uh, was there and i was like ma'am aap kon to she told me ki main aaj join karungi koi baat nahi join baad mein kar lenge i'll help you of first kar dete hain very right we well, love we oh, love me Yeah, she is a lovely doctor monica thanks for sharing this lovely so that says one more thing about uh, dr aparna yeah she is so a doc- beautiful soul ma'am she is a beautiful definitely wonderful uh-huh. soul. she is she is and that was and, very lucky <laughs> <laughs> yes she is yes she is and dr aparna i would like to again uh, without even asking uh, you uh, without even asking i have again come to second your thought that you if they think more about the impact rather than the income the income will follow because i have also adopted the same uh, strategy because i you know thought of impacting i thought of more and more um, uh, you know networking with more and more people so when i started i was also like abuje training chahiye i am not worried about you know how much i will get and uh, i i am seeing it, it, only in 3 months or 4 months i am able to see the change in the income generation also because initially i did not think about income it is more about impact Uh, which we we thought and one uh, uh, two very quick very crisp because i know we are running short of time but very crisp two things i wish to add here one thing is my biggest input uh, dr monica because i have done both the courses from protach one is uh, the ttt okay. plain ttt as uh, she said and the other one is posh Okay. so the biggest input if i if somebody asked me that what is your you know learning so obviously we had lot of learning as as dr aparna said she provided everything everything no nobody provided nobody provides all the ppts also and how to you know um, contact the client so all the emails how to write an email to the client everything she provided but my biggest learning was how to plan your uh, uh you know session because earlier what i was doing before coming to protach what i was doing lamba session hai zyada ppts le jao chhota session hai kam ppts le jao so i was just counting the ppts and the hours of training if somebody said ma'am ek ghante ka session rakhna hai i said oh kyunki one hour ka session hai 30 ppts will be enough so two hours ka session oh i have to make 60 ppts i did not have any idea about the Uh, you know blocks about the towers i had no idea that how we have to plan our session for every 15 minutes so th- this was the biggest learning i must say that i have learned now that even if somebody calls me for 5 hour session no i am good to go because i know how to plan a session for 5 hours so this is the biggest learning from dr aparna in protach and second quick input i wish to say here is that uh, you know this is a kind of family protach is a kind of family so as you say um, you know what happened just a few days ago i was pitching my business because i have joined one women mentor forum here where new business women have to pitch their business in front of experienced business women so when i was pitching my um, uh, my business some uh, one girl came to me and she said ma'am maine bhi abhi abhi corporate training ka course kiya i said kahan se kiya ma'am protach hai ma'am gurgaon ki company hai protach i I said, oh God, I have also done from there only. She was advocate Swati, so uh, she came to me and she was like, oh ma'am, हम तो गुरु बहने निकल गए, you know, our guru is same, Dr. Aparna and Rahul sir are our guru, so we are guru बहने now. 
So what I need to say here is once a pro toucher, always a pro toucher because th that is, you know, a kind of family it it makes. And we we feel privileged to be a part of this family. So these are the thank things you, that came thank to you. I mean, I can't uh, thank you enough uh, for these words. However, you know, currently I'm reading this book. I don't know whether you are able to see this or not. I'll just see, uh, you know, show it to you like, okay, let me see. It is speak, speak like Churchill. Okay. Amazing book. Every trainer must read this book. You know, if you have these great speakers in the history, they never used PowerPoint, but they made sure that there was a power in the point which they were making, you know, and this is very important for all of us to understand. Believe me, I'm still reading this book. I'm making my notes, right? Uh, on our group, I will share the this thing also, the cover page of this. This made a huge difference when I was taking the training yesterday, right? Please keep updating yourself and that's the only way you can become. Believe me, we live in the country where a, a next door girl becomes Miss India. After that, she becomes Miss Universe. After that, she becomes plays the character of Sazdi Kabi Bahuti. And now she's a minister, right? Sab kuch ho sakta hai. Socha to munkin. Ek life hai, jio ji bhar ke. If you have finances a little bit taken care, if you have sustainability power of six to seven months, believe me, you can take some chance. Today, India is shining. Certainly, we will be able to take certain chance in our life, isn't it? If I can start my company at the age of 44, so you are very young, you can do a lot of things. So now it is everyone 8.30. So I think let's thank Dr. Aarti for sharing her journey with us. Everyone, you can put it in the chat box. Yes. It will be really nice that, you know, to see what is your one takeaway you have from the session? Did you find the session insightful or not? Let us know that. That will be really good. Yes. If you have any questions, we are still there. However, it's a pretty long time, everyone. I hope you found the session insightful. Yes. Amazing. And uh, we wish you all the very best on your new journey. I will suggest you join ProTouch. You don't, don't join ProTouch. But don't stop touching the lives of people. That's very important for all of you. Okay, wherever you go, impact, income will follow. That is very important. Wish you all the very best. If you have any other questions, anything, we are here, right? Uh, otherwise, we can say goodbye. Please stay tuned with us. If you are on our social media pages, you will get to see the next webinars which we will be holding. We are getting HRBPs. We will be getting police officers who will be talking about their role in sexual harassment. Okay. We will be getting banking industry CEOs and CHROs very soon. So I'm excited to line up really great speakers for you. So if you keep attending, if you keep writing about us on LinkedIn and social media handles, certainly it will motivate us to get the best of the best speakers. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. And thank you, Melika. Thank you so Thank much, you. everyone. Thank you, Arti. Amazing session. Thank you, Jaipur. Sure, sure. Please do come to Jaipur. Pakka. It's my promise to you. Thank you. Yes, sure.